Nobody should ever have to go through this. spoke this afternoon about their terrible loss. Now state police are looking for the driver who caused the crash. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching. I'm Katie Moore. Sharice is off tonight. State police say Wendell Lackney caused the crash in Terrytown over the weekend, and police are asking for your help finding him. Paul Dudley reports the little girl may be gone, but she is still giving several other families hope tonight, thanks to the life-saving gift of organ donations. At University Medical Center, a family in mourning, looking for the answer to a devastating question. How could this happen? Nine-year-old Abby Douglas, a fourth grader at St. Anne, known for her big personality, dead after a crash with an alleged drunk driver. Nobody ever should have to do this. And if you've got kids, you know, you would understand what I'm talking about. It happened Friday night. Abby and her mother were in the family minivan, stopped at a red light near the corner of Berman and Belchase Highway. That's when police say another driver, 58-year-old Wendell Lackney, slammed into them. State police say he was impaired during the time of the crash. From eyewitness testimony, the estimated um, speed that he was going is between 60 and 70 miles an hour, and they were at a stoplight. Abby's mother would be okay, but Abby would die at the hospital. These men say they tried to save the little girl, but it was too late. The word anger only begins to describe how they are feeling. Extreme, extreme anger because uh, it could have been prevented. Being a father myself, I can't imagine the pain that the family's going through. Lackney was injured but was released from the hospital the same night as the crash. He was arrested but was released on bond, and now state police are actively looking for him. What would the family like to see done? I think they would like to see him rehabilitated so that he understands what he did and the family he destroyed. Abby's mother and father, along with dozens more, gathered in front of the hospital. The staff here raised a flag in honor of the family's decision to donate Abby's organs to help save other children. Now this family is just trying to remember her by how she lived and not how she died. She just was full of life. That is who she was, um, who she is. Um, and, you know, hopefully she's up there flying with the angels up there, you know. The hospital does host these types of ceremonies quite regularly, but the communications director says this is the largest one she has ever seen. I'm Paul Dudley reporting Eyewitness News. Back to you. Police are looking for Wendell Lackney. He's now facing vehicular homicide and a list of other charges. If you know where he is, you are encouraged to call police.